Joining me in the studio is Lisa Giovanni, president of the Visiting Nurse Association of St. Luke's Hospital. Lisa, thanks for being here. Of course, thanks for having me. One of the things we learned in doing this story is that the hospice experience really is a beautiful one. What do you find people are most surprised by when they go through the hospice program? I think um, people are most surprised by the sense of relief that they have when the hospice team actually comes on board and they realize that they're not alone in this journey that they're taking with their loved one or by themselves. Talk to me a little bit about the people that are involved in hospice care and how they communicate because it seemed extremely seamless. Yeah, so the people that are involved are um, a, a myriad of professionals from the medical director and at times the patient's own physician can certainly be um, involved in care to the nurses, social workers, hospice aides that care for um, the patient. It's all about adding um, life to the days that the person has left. It's really a beautiful process and people may not realize that hospice care in general has only been around for about 50 years. Why did the Visiting Nurse Association get involved with hospice care and bringing it to the Lehigh Valley really so early on in the process? St. Luke's um, has a history of being strategic and visionary and I think that that occurred 30 years ago as well. It still occurs today, but it occurred then. Um, and really there were um, a few individuals who spearheaded that effort. And I think the realization that we really have an opportunity when there are no other possibilities or when that's what the patient wants um, to move into hospice care. Where is hospice care provided? Like I mentioned, you have the hospice house, mm -hmm. but I understand that's only a small percentage of where hospice care can and does take place. Right, absolutely. So hospice care takes place wherever the patient calls home. Um, it can be the home of a son or a daughter or another relative. It can be an assisted living, a nursing home, um, a long-term care facility, but it's really where that patient calls home. There are times where symptoms need to be controlled and we utilize the inpatient hospice setting for that. Um, and sometimes length of stays there are shorter and the person is returned back to wherever they call home. What's the feedback that you get from the community and families as they've gone through hospice care? Our feedback is tremendous. I get hundreds of letters um, uh, um, addressed to myself, to St. Luke's, to our management team, just from um, the, the feeling of thankfulness for helping, helping through a journey that is hard to make by yourself. What would be your advice to people out there who are really fearful of speaking about end of life? My advice would be talk to your parents, talk to your spouse, make sure that you know what their wishes are long before the decision becomes imminent and has to be made in a split second because um, there's a lot to be gained by being and having hospice care for several months versus only a few days. Wonderful advice and thank you so much for the work that you do on behalf of St. Luke's and the community. We're really lucky to have this resource here. Thank you. For more information on hospice care, the Visiting Nurse Association, or anything from today's show, please go to our website at thepeaktv.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, every day is an opportunity to be your best self. This is The Peak.